Right. So welcome to February 2nd report. <clears throat> okay, so news events. Today I'd like to talk about the Fed, right? Uh, the significant announcement that it has made uh, during the FOMC statement. And the Fed has confirmed the end of the hike cycle. So uh, no more rate hike is expected from now going forward. So in a way, that's what we call a Fed pivot, okay? P changing from one stance to another stance already. So the Federal Reserve under Chairman Jerome Powell's guidance has signaled the conclusion of its current rate hiking cycle, quashing expectations of a reduced borrowing cost in March as well, okay? Uh, so... What, uh, what do we expect next from here is that Powell emphasized that the Federal Reserve is unlikely to feel confident enough about the inflation trajectory by its next meeting in March to consider lowering interest rates. We have lots of speculation and I also I shared with you all the probabilities in the previous report. You know, it was dropping and uh, I also said that, you know, I think the Fed would not do that uh, so early, we even with the market saying that they would, okay? And you can see from this particular statement by Powell, so in his remarks, he said, based on the meeting today, I would tell you that I don't think it's likely that the community will reach a level of confidence by the time of the March meeting to identify March as the time to do that. that but that's to be seen. Okay, so it's very, very clear. He said they are this, these are their thoughts. And uh, furthermore, the Fed has affirmed its strategy to persist in shrinking its asset portfolio at a pace of up to 95 billion per month. Nonetheless, Powell mentioned that in depth discussions about the balance sheet adjustments are planned for the March meeting. So, uh, from March onwards, right, pro. Probably what we will be seeing is that that ninety five billion, uh, start to reduce because they have to control their their job is to ensure that there's a soft landing and if they can do that, the Fed would be praised. Okay, and this is what they are looking for. Okay, so probably reduce this in the March. Now, contrary to market anticipations of five to six rate cuts within the year. Powell has set expectations for a more conservative reduction of 75 basis points throughout the year, which should be around three cuts this year. Okay. Now, uh, the announcement led to a downturn in the stock market with the S&P experiencing a 1.6% uh, drop, the most significant decline in four months, and the Nasdaq Composite falling to 2.2%, marking its largest decrease in three months. Now, is this a sign that is going to come down from here, then you would have to look at the the uh, technical analysis that I gave on Wednesday. If you remember that, you would know uh, what was the answer. Okay, but those that have not been following it, uh, there wasn't any very strong uh, selling. Even though this was, you know, this percentage, it looks significant, but from a technical perspective, it did not. Okay, uh, so anyway, to sum this up, right, Powell indicated that the Fed would not entertain ideas of rate cut unless prompted by significant labor market issues over here. So this is the first clue is going to tell us which news that they are going to focus, right? So December 2023's data still reflects a robust labor market, what we've seen so far. The Fed appears content to maintain the current interest rates with discussions on rate cuts likely to intensify only, yeah, keyword here, only in the event of a substantial stock market downturn coupled with significant consumer-related challenges. So going forward, the labor, consumer, health, those are the things that we need to focus very, very clearly. So things like loan delinquencies, credit card, loans, delinquencies, uh, the other loans, business loans, all should be scrutinized in detail. Okay, then we will have a clear idea whether the Fed is able to maintain the three rate cuts or more. But for now, we will see.
we will see. It's a very interesting development over here. Okay, so with that, that's the end of the fundamental report for today.